Stanford University. Well, aquaculture is growing one of the fastest growing segments of the world food economy. You know, one of the big fears is, are we going to have feedlots of the sea? Are we going to have a lot of basic manure floating around the coastal systems that we really care about? Uh, plumes of dissolved waste, which means dissolved feces, food that fish don't eat, other waste that accumulate both under the net pens and in the surrounding areas. Although we've known about the problem, we really haven't had the tools, the scientific tools, to monitor and measure these plumes. And I think the study really presents a model that uses real life variables and parameters uh, to actually track this pollution now. So what did we do? Well, we set up a grid in a fictitious bay and we put two sets of fish pens in this coastal embayment. So the first set of six pens is right there, where you can see that sort of red dot, and the second set is right there. We're injecting a dye, if you will, a numerical dye. So what we're looking at is a, a time-dependent a computation of the dye concentration coming out of our two fish farms and it's looping through over six tidal cycles. Now when you see dye that is uh, has a red color that means a high concentration and when you see uh, nothing when you basically see the blue background that's the ambient or zero concentration. If we look at this the dye the effluent is not diluting in appreciable amounts the effluent from a fish farm that is located over here could be carried all the way down the coast and, and people sort of living in this part of the, the coastline can be impacted by something that's happening all the way up there or over there. It's assumed that if you put net pens far enough out, dilution will just solve the pollution problem and that these wastes will just dissolve into the water and you're not going to have a problem. Our study really shows that that's not the case. Realistically, to make aquaculture viable at an economic scale where you have a lot of concentrated pens in one place, wastes are likely to become more and more of a problem. And as aquaculture grows, which it is surely likely to do as, as wild fish populations collapse, this is just going to be a fantastic uh, tool and I think in a very important paper for the future of aquaculture. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.